Yeah, yeah, yeah. The intro. Just make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Pussy. I don't know why y'all like this pussy ass nigga. Well, what the fuck up with Zemi and his herb, blood? What's going on? Hey, baby sauce. All right, what's up, bitch? What's up, whore? Hey, right, they gave you your. Did they do? Did they give you your time yet? Yeah, hey, y'all already got my time. What they give you? Thirty-seven months. Oh, that's just three years. You lying? Mm -hmm. You ain't even gonna do all this shit. Though. Mm -hmm. you know, it's your boy, Trey Six Hundo Queen TV. We back again with another one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Shout out to the notification gang. Salute to all my new subscribers and all my day ones. I do this for y'all. Let's get it. Today, we're gonna be talking about the rise and fall of 21 Shots, the stepper turned rapper. He had a rising music career, but now he's doing time and you know, he's, he's been gone out the, you know, out the mix for a while. This story is going to be about brotherhood, loyalty, betrayal, and a whole lot more. So let's get to it. This is the rise and fall of 21 Shots. Let's go. 21 Shots, AKA the Eastside Doughboy, is from Fort Worth, Texas. And when I say Fort Worth, Texas, I mean the east side of Fort Worth, Texas. East side meaning Eastwood. Mm. So goddamn, let's take it from the top, bro. Where you from? You from Eastwood? Yeah. And Eastwood, for those that don't know, is on the east side, yeah. right? <coughs> okay. Um, <coughs> you from Eastwood, but but tell me like Eastwood is the eight, and like um I guess stop six is the six, so six and eight running mates. That's how y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's. Something. Also, is a member of the eight gang, which is a subset of a casino world. Casino. <laughs> They beef with Murder Gang. And if you don't know who Murder Gang is, you know, Murder Gang, they got Go Yayo, they got Murder Gang PB, you know what I mean? They got YT and Lil Greg, you know, all of them from the other side. But the members of Ape Gang, we got Six Shots, 21 Shots, D Casino, J Dub, Ape Gang Almighty, and we can't forget Lil Rodney, aka 30 Shots, uh, free, free Lil Rodney. Well, this whole story, it goes, it breaks down to, you know, um, 21 shots and six shots, they linked up. And also you can't forget about J-Dub. You know what I mean? But um, 21 shots and six shots, you know, it, it started off with them linking up. You know, they link we was in jail together and shit. That is that hold on, hold on, let's let's rewind then. Is that is that how y'all met? How did y'all meet? Shit, like I I met him in the free but shit. Cause I was uh fucking with Keith and shit. This other nigga named like 50. And you know, so that's where they linked up and then you know it progressed and now, you know, that we got with their whole situation. And you know, when they were young, six shots, you know, he even said he wasn't even really worried about rapping. You know, 21 shots, he, he talked to him and you know, he got him into it, you know, and you know, that's the, some of that motivation, you know, to help him out. Before I rapped this whole, start leaning me up with that, me and Lil Dave and shit. We were just going to the studio every day and shit. Yeah. Shit. Ever since then, we just been rapping, really. Yeah. Love yeah. a nigga wasn't just taking this shit serious, nigga been in and out. I want for them to street one for them and shit, you know. Oh, 21 got you in the studio? Yeah, that hoe when he rapping though. But he was pushing you to, you know what I'm saying, do what you yeah, do. We, and now, you know, now he's definitely he a beast now.
And if you don't know about Jada, like Jada was going crazy. He was really going crazy. He's another member, like I said, of, you know, Ape Game. And he was elevating, dropping, you know, diss songs, you know, especially, you know, the Go Yayo diss. That, that definitely took them viral. They had the whole world, you know, looking at them. As, you know, Jada, when he was going viral, and whenever you would see Jada, you would see 21 shots, you would see six shots, and that, that definitely added on, you know what I mean, to, you know, the, the, the movement and, you know, what he was trying to do. And, and being in all of Jada's videos and, you know, six shots, he was there also, that would motivate you, you know, you know, maybe I need to rap myself. And then that's that's when he started taking it seriously and doing videos and dropping. And like I said, uh, a lot of his videos was doing a whole lot of numbers and they was going low key viral and they didn't have no manager. They didn't have, you know, anybody really pushing them, you know, besides, you know, shout out Bugatti Casino, you know what I mean? But like, they, they definitely was doing it, you know, dolo and they were, they were doing the numbers and you know, these were the numbers, which is crazy. Okay, now 21 shots, he's at the top of his game. J Dub is going hard. Uh, six shots, he's going crazy. They're all doing numbers, you know what I mean? They're all, all the videos are getting thousands and thousands of views. And, you know, you got CJ Casino and you got Bugatti Casino that co sign you, which is another, you know, group that's just, that's just taking off. Now, here comes what I believe the start of the downfall of 21 Shot. In having CJ Casino co-sign you and Bugatti Casino, they end up having a rift. They end up falling out. And, you know, when, when things like that happen, people pick sides. And, you know, 21 Shots, Six Shots, and Jada, they felt that CJ Casino, he was trying to little boy them and pin them against each other and a whole lot of other petty stuff. Meanwhile, a lot, whole lot of other street stuff is going on. So they just, they, they, they handling a whole lot of things. And they feel like, you know, CJ, he, he was treating them wrong. And they felt like they was going to get a chain. Hey. Tell the story. Nigga, I, I, I'm going to give y'all the run now, man. Tony is like, we're going to get this nigga to run. We're going to take this shit back to 26, 2016, 2017. Like, you know what I'm saying? When this, uh, this little bullshit ass rap shit first started, right? Like, oh. Get y'all a real scoop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Get y'all boys a real scoop, a real rundown about what's been going on. You know what I'm saying? All right, like, look. Oh, that what been happening. Boom. So, as y'all know, me and A Gang Almighty, OG Insane, right? Blase, blase. CJ started rapping, you understand me? Well, we all been doing bro, since way back in the game. Yeah. So, look, it was awesome. Y'all, my, I fuck with y'all, woo de woo. I'm a rap fool, put y'all in the mix. All right, man, we cool with that. He try to play the images, OG, A, fly, say, fly, say. Well, as y'all know, that it's false. I am OG. I am OG. Hey, hey, look. Oh, shit, that was and you know, it's not for me to decide whether if it was right or wrong, you know, if they took the chain. I, you know, I don't know. Let's y'all leave that in the comments. You know, they did that and it was like clout overdrive. Everybody even knew them even more. I heard of you when y'all took CJ chain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, you, I mean, that's, when I, that's when the world kind of got hit, bro. That's when it was like, shit, who the fuck is these niggas? Like, because it was already like we were seeing y'all, but it was more so on some shit like, like now, like who the fuck is these niggas? Like these niggas really, really yeah, just yeah, 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 bro. Like, like, he been taking change, but he ain't taking no jokes. They been going to big jokes about us. He been taking niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been taking niggas in the city for sure. Yeah, but like, okay, so if I can ask you, cause I, I feel like the world really don't know like why. Over to see that shit. Yeah. 
really, bro, you know, I, f- I was fucked up with the nigga for lying on me on social media, really. On social then, media? Yeah, he was on social media, cap. My name is CD, you know what I'm saying? J Dub just started seeing little girl shit he was doing, like when me and bro got into it, the shit he was saying, cause J Dub was around him, so J Dub was like, damn, this nigga really lying on East like that, bro. Like, he'll do me like that too, type shit. That's what J Dub thinking. So when we run back into each other, he like, man, I ain't gonna lie for, I ain't fucking with this shit that nigga said, bro. I like me either, that's why I'm really mad, you know what I'm saying? So J Dub was on the same shit I was on. So shit. Hoover's chain was really mine because, you know what I'm saying, Boo had, Boo was like, he wasn't gonna give it back to the nigga, he was just gonna give it back to me when he came from Houston. So I tell you, Zayla, I'm like, bitch. Hold on, so the Hoover's chain, cause like, people don't know, like, look, so CJ got, got a chain from Hoover's Pablo Juan. Yeah. And Boo yeah. took that hoe. Nah, see, uh, I had that hoe, you know what I'm saying, I was wearing that bitch. Okay, okay, okay. You see, I had broke my rope around that hoe, so shit, I, I just had that hoe sitting in the car and Boo pulled up on it one day. Like, and he took the help from you. He ain't take nothing from me. He said, let me see that hoe. I like, right, right, right. you know what I'm saying? I ain't had no rope for that hoe anyway. He like, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I'm saying? He went to Houston with that hoe or whatever. Yeah. So when he came back, he gave me that one. I told Jay up. I'm like, bitch, I'm not finna be hiding this time from this nigga. Or, you know what I'm saying? Cause I really don't want to fuck with the nigga no more anyway. He like, shit, fool. So what we gonna do? I like, shit, really, bitch? You need to go and take the casino chain. We got off the road. This nigga told you to take that hoe. He, he thought about it. He was like, shit. Fuck it. How we gonna take that hoe? <laughs> he like, I'm blood. He like, shit. What we gonna do? We gonna draw that on the nigga. I'm like, shit. Oh, shit. I'm like, bitch, we can do it. Man, this, my bad. Y'all gotta excuse me, bro. I'll be Somebody said, number seven can real. bounce for this shit on blood, guys. Number seven was down? Man, look. I'm gonna yeah. tell you, so boom. We leave the situation alone, fool. We was like, we gonna wait. We gonna wait till the nigga drop the mixtape ready to take the change. Cause I was on the mix cover. I'm like, bitch, oh. I don't wanna see my bitch on that whole type of shit. On some, you know what I'm saying? Type of shit. That yeah, type of shit. So he kept, like, I don't know why he just kept pushing his mixtape back, fool. So we like, fuck that mixtape. Cause he knew. Nah, it was just like shit started. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So he got to a <laughs> God damn me. Uh, what happened? So shit, one day he was like, he finna come to the studio and just so happy shit, it's me, j Dub, Six, us, goddamn me, Almighty. Who else is in there? Shit, I forgot who else was in there. There was a few of us in that bitch. We was sticked up. And he was like, where y'all live? We was like, shit, we at the studio. He like, shit, I'm finna push up. We like, bet. So once he said that, we like, oh yeah, he finna come with the chain. I'm finna go on, gun him down. But on blood, the nigga pull up. Oh, he pull up with number seven and number seven part of them. So we like, damn. He said he, he pulled up with him? Yeah, with number seven. Cause we fuck with it, number seven. You know what I'm saying? That's my yeah, yeah. nigga. That's still my nigga to this day on blood. Y'all seen he shared your song. So boom. Oh, you shared this song type yeah, of shit. Yeah, I shared shit. this shit today. Yeah. So goddamn me. Um, so I see number seven. So me and Jake, oh, we looking at it like, oh, we can't even go against the grain like they put number seven in that situation. You know what I'm saying? See, oh, like it was, like like was yeah. set up like for sure. Yeah. Or just anything. So we like, shit, I take number seven outside. I'm like, hey, bitch, you got damn me for Bitch, you really just say the nigga, boy, we were finna take the nigga chain. Ah, bitch, I'm like, damn, blood, we finna take the nigga chain, bro. So I run number seven down through there. He's like, bitch, I'ma just keep it a, st- a stack, fool. Just do that shit on y'all time, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, for sure, bitch, you know, we had never put you in no situation like that, bitch. I'm really like, for sure, that's why I fuck with y'all. Boom. CJ come outside. We chill, talk with him. Everybody part ways, boom. Later on that night, goddamn me, I go to the spot, shit. Talking to a nigga, talking about a price. One thing led to another. Jado went and got that bitch. I'm bloody came back with that hell. I had my train on. Yeah, Shit, the, the, the. it was it was up just like that. And like I said before, street stuff, you know, still going on. And boys is getting locked up, you know, here and there you catch a case, here and there you catch a case. The police <laughs> pulled us over, nigga on blood game, nigga on shit. Shit, nigga with about 10 undercovers on blood game. Gang unit, they surrounded our ass, nigga on blood. That's my <laughs> Draw down on our ass. What the fuck y'all wanted me to do, nigga? He told me, he told me, it's that ain't fault. <laughs> Man, on blood, his bitch ass. My mom, he, he, you know, damn well, we in that hoe arguing about this shit, boy. What the fuck, you know, damn well, I ain't, bro. I'm blood, but I you know. That nigga stupid.
on blood about 10 police cars in front of us and behind us. What I'm gonna do, wreck this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this, uh, uh. But Bro, it wasn't no getting away from that shit. Bro. He, I don't know. This shit is funny, but it's crazy. You know. But I'ma call y'all. And you know, in between catching cases, man, it's a haymaker. You know, something crazy happened. Jada ended up passing away. I heard it. I jumped up at my sleep because it sounded like it was right here at my fucking door, and it was. I don't know this little boy, y'all, but he's a little young boy, black with gold teeth and shit in his mouth, laying in my yard with a fucking AK. I heard all this shooting at about 3.30 in the morning. You know, man, once that happened, man, it was just like, everything kind of like went crazy. You know, everything kind of went crazy. The moment the nigga walked out the door, the nigga hopped on live on my chain like he took something, bro. I was scared for that little nigga. Meanwhile, all this street stuff is going on. It's crazy, you know, 21 shots, he gets locked up. And this time, you know, he stays in there for a little while. And, you know, he's gone and doing phone calls and, you know, he's just updating everybody with the situation. I ain't had some for him, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting on, waiting on confirmation. Yeah, cause he, he, um, he hit me the other day about that. Yeah. Who, uh, third? Nah, day no, he wants to see uh, him. Uh, What's that shoe you wear, David? I'm gonna get away. All my shoes are fucking. Where's my puff bar? I got it. It's in my jacket. Here, man. What's that? I'm gonna get away. All my shoes. Hell nah, dude. You could get away some, not all. The fuck? Not your new shoes. I don't want you to know. No, I'm talking about the ones you ain't worried yet. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. You talking about some shoes? Huh? You talking about hit me? What size shoe you wear? We don't lie right now. We can talk. He said, "What size shoe you wear?" He said, "Tell him right now." He told my bitch ass me, "You can talk." Somebody said, "When you coming home, real?" Oh man, we you know uh thirty third and everywhere. You hear me? Feel like I ain't talking about this bitch. I don't know. We have one minute left. I don't know. I don't know. That's my fuck Huh? And I really think like that, like really rocked, you know, Ed Game, and it definitely stagnated them, and it, they it could have really made them, you know, really be even a bigger, you know, force than what they were. Twenty one shots, you know, he he's locked up, and he got he actually got three years, so it's it's really it's maybe the rise and the fall, but he still does have some time, you know, to rise again because. Like I said, he only he only got three years, and you know he can definitely turn up. But I just did, definitely think these are some of the reasons you know why you know twenty one shots. This was hey, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole series. It's your boy Tracy Sundo Queen TV, and y'all help me get to seven thousand subscribers. Trying to get to that seven K, and getting to ten K. If you like, man, like and leave a comment, man. Like.